St. Lawrence's Church there is certainly very beautiful, but it is also home to one of the saddest graves that we have in this city. For beside me is the tomb of the Rigg children. In the early 1800s, Thomas and Anne Rigg would have some 14 children. An awful lot, it must be said, but six of them unfortunately succumbed to the many childhood ailments which many children suffered from at the time. Eight of them, however, survived until one fateful day on August the 19th, 1830, when six of them would all meet their end on one fateful afternoon. You see, the eldest of these children, Thomas and Anne Junior, convinced their brothers and sisters to go out boating on the River Ouse, and Eliza, John, Charles and James all joined them gleefully. But after a few hours had passed, their boat unfortunately crashed into another, and all six of these children were drowned in the deep. It was an event that rocked this city to its core. It was so harrowing that James Montgomery, a hymn writer of the time, would even write a verse talking about how horrible this actually was, a verse which is inscribed on the tomb. Mark the brief history of a summer's day. At noon, health, youth, and beauty launched away. Ere eve, death coughed a bark and quenched their light. Their parents' home was desolate at night. Each passes alone, that gulf no eye can see. They met next a moment in eternity. Friend, kinsman, stranger, thus thou ask me where? Seek God's right hand and hope to find it there.